everybody, it's Mrs. E here and I am bringing you guys our weekly broadcast. So today is Monday, October 28th and we are super excited for our broadcast today. There's a couple things that we want to talk about before we jump into everything, a couple announcements. First announcement is, is that this week we'll be starting our ASA or After School Academy. So we're excited about that. That starts on Tuesday for those friends that are signed up for it. Also, what will be happening in the month of November is we are going to be starting our Terrific Kids Assemblies. If your teachers haven't talked about it yet, our first Terrific Kids Assembly is going to be about the character trait of respect. So hopefully in your classrooms, you guys have already started talking about what does respect look like and sound like, possibly in the school, at home. What does respect look like out in the community? Maybe what does respect look like with respect to others or even respecting yourself? So good questions just to think about and we'll get more into that as we continue our weekly broadcast and up until our terrific kids assembly in November. All right, you guys, we had such an amazing week last week and I wanted to capture some of those moments. So we're going to do a little thing where I pulled some pictures off of Twitter to just kind of refresh your guys' memories of some amazing things that happened last week. And excited for all the amazing things that are going to be happening this week and for the rest of October and into November. All right, so take a look. So the first couple pictures that I want to highlight were of our family night that happened last week with Wilderness Inquiry where family members, students, and community members got to experience canoeing in our own backyard. In these pictures you can see that everyone's getting ready and learning how to be safe on the water. Then here we are paddling away right in our own backyard. Looks like some really happy faces. You can even see Mr. Ruzik in that canoe. Everyone's smiling. Everyone's having a good time. What a fun experience for all to have. In the next couple pictures, I wanted to highlight some amazing things that happened for our fifth grade students where they attended Eagle Bluff. Here in this picture, you can see that they're making something out in the wilderness. And there's Emery. Looks like Emery is getting to sample what he made. Our fifth graders also at Eagle Bluff got to um, learn all about archery and work on their skills. Here's Kylie. Looks like Kylie did a great job and actually was able to hit her target. Congratulations, Kylie. Some other amazing things that happened at Riverside was we got visitors from the Fire Station 1, which is really right next door to us, where we got to learn all about fire safety and see what it looks like when they have all of their equipment on. So many great things happening at Riverside and so many more amazing things to come. Weren't those some great pictures? It's so exciting and we're really excited to capture more pictures as the year goes on. All right, I know most of you have been waiting for this, so we are finally here to announce our outstanding otters for this week. Here you go. Hi guys, it's Mrs. E here, and I am bringing you guys the outstanding otter winners for last week. So we are going to start off right away, and we're going to start with kindergarten. How about that? I think that's a great idea. And we're actually going to start with Miss Newkirk's class, her newcomer class, and Diana and Karina are the big winners. Congratulations. We have two from Mrs. Green's class. That's Cullen and Kylan. Congratulations. We cannot miss, forget about Miss Hample's class. Treshawn and Ellie were our big winners from kindergarten. Congratulations, kindergarten. Can't forget about our first grade friends. We have two from Mrs. Anderson's class, Drew and Evan. Two from Mrs. Capel's class, we have Fija and LJ, congratulations. And then of course from Mrs. Mueller's class, Sabir is our, our big winner. Congratulations first graders. Moving on to second grade. All right, here we go. Starting with Mrs. Franzone's class, we have Marwa and Claire. From Mrs. Rowley's class, we have Sabrina and Evelyn. And then for Mrs. Muhammad's class, we have Miriam and Alex. Congratulations to you guys. But of course, we can't forget about Mrs. Nearson's class. Can't forget about you guys. For Mrs. Nearson, our, our winners are Leon and Eva. Congratulations. Third graders, don't worry about it. We have two winners from Mrs. Guy's class. We have Abdullahi and Dylan. Congratulations. Our fourth grade friends from Mrs. Shaw's class. We have Vanessa as well as Delilah. Congratulations. Then for Mrs. Lewis's class, we have Isaac and Angelia. And of course, you can't forget about Mrs. Schmidt's class as well as Hajar. Congratulations, you guys. Fifth graders, it's finally your turn. Thanks for being patient. All right, fifth grader, fifth grader, starting from Mrs. Dietrich's class. Miss Dietrich's class has Joshua as a big winner and Eli. Congratulations. 
Mr. Simmons' class is Carlo and Jada. And finally, for Mrs. Markert's class, it's Kayla and Safa. Congratulations, all my outst outstanding honor winners. Everyone in the school has been so amazing. But those friends that were just announced, please come find me downstairs or right outside of the office for your prize and a quick picture. So congratulations, you guys. Everyone together, let's give a shout out and say go otters together. Ready? Go otters!